Hobbies friends, today we will learn together how to make this herringbone rope. You can see that the turquoise beads have a spiralized effect all around the beadwork. It's very very easy to make and it's very flexible as you can see, so I think it can be perfect as a necklace for a pendant, for example. To create the rope you will need side stand needles, bead weaving thread, and two colors of size 8 seed beads. Pick up one bead and carry the bead to the end of the thread. Make a note on the bead itself to stop it on the thread. Now let's make the base for the herringbone rope. Pick up three white beads and sew through the stopping bead. Sew also through the next three beads and place the beads in this position. Pick up two white beads and sew through the previous one on the side. Then sew also through the beads you have just added on the beadwork. Repeat this last step until you have six columns on the beadwork. Now close the working around sewing through the first two beads. and so also through the beads we were starting from. Now we can start to work at the pattern. First, pick up two white beads and sew through the next two beads. When you sew through the first one, you go down. while when you sew through the second one, you go up. Pick up the second sequence, one golden bead plus one white bead, and sew through the next two beads, as we did before. Pick up the third and last sequence, one white bead plus one golden bead, and since we are at the end of the round, sew through the next three beads. One down, and two up. We are ready to start the second round. To know which is the right sequence to choose, look at this picture. We can imagine this herringbone beadwork as composed by three columns. Every column has two beads. The pink beads on the picture are the white beads we are using. We are going outside this bead. The two beads of the column are both white. So this is the first column. The sequence to put upon the first column is golden plus white. Pick up this sequence and sew through the next two beads. Up and down. The next column is golden plus white, that is the second column. In this case, the right sequence is one white plus one golden bead. Pick up the sequence and sew through the next two beads. The next column is the third. Pick up the right sequence. And since we are at the end of the round, sew through the next three beads, as we did before. One down, two up. Go on repeating the same steps until you reach the length you need for your beadwork. Before tying off the thread, sew through the beads several times until you feel that the thread is fixed on the beadwork. If you need to know how to turn this herringbone into a bracelet or a necklace, you can watch other tutorials of mine on beatsfriends.com. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this rope could inspire you and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!